Oh yeah, there, there was one other thing I was going to mention to you. Yes, sir. That, that happened on Omaha Beach. Um, the, the, the ship I was on, on about five different occasions, we were there anchored at Omaha, waiting on the tide to come back in to get off the beach. And, and, and uh, Omaha Beach is flat for about the first half a mile, then it gradually goes up a couple hundred feet. And, and the first time I noticed this, um, several of us was out on the beach just walking around, we happened to be off duty, mm -hmm. and we happened to look inland, and here looks like about a three or four company outfit marching to the beach. And we looked at each other, and what the devil was going on there? What it was, about a 300 unit of German prisoners that they were marching our ship to take back to England. Hmm. And, and we we sitting there waiting on them to come because nobody knew anything. And um, that, that first trip I remember, and of course you can imagine putting 300 prisoners of all down in that tank there, with most of them smoking. They carried water to them down there in big old tin tubs like this. They had uh, MPs at every hatch with uh, machine guns to guard everything. And, um, and, and uh, of course, this, isn't, this doesn't do with fighting the war, but um, uh, that this first group, there was just one German officer who was a German captain, he was a graduate of Hamburg University. That joke spoke English like we did every day aboard ship till we got him back to England where we could unload him. He'd come up in the sick bay every morning, pick up the Stars and Stripes magazine and sit there and read that thing. Huh. But, <laughs> but some of the sailors aboard ship was trading some of our cave rations to the German prisoners for the Iron Cross, hmm. if you follow what I'm saying, yes, sir. that captain got word as to what was going on. He immediately went down to the tank deck, got the attention of all of his prisoners of war soldiers, made a talk to them that he didn't want to hear no more about anybody else receiving the Iron Cross told them they had worked hard for it and everything. And um, after that, if one of our sailors got an iron cross, they had to use some other tactics to get it, huh. which usually involves a little physical activity. <laughs> gotcha.